Astaghfirullah I've taught kids, you know, there's, there's even a barakah of a place. If you fill your house up with a lot of dhikr of Allah, if you fill your house up with tilawah of the Qur'an, if you fill your house up with dhikr and remembrance of Allah, of salah, of tilawah, of, of bed, meditating, or being someone that is good, who's doing something halal in that house, you haven't got harams in that house, I can guarantee your house will have barakah. Guarantee. I'll give you an example. Try this. Try spending. Try spending. Go to a masjid where there's a lot of good actions going on and spend time in that masjid. Spend an hour in that masjid. And then go and spend time in another center or another, another place and spend an hour there and start to think what felt more. The hour is going to be the same, but what feels more is when you're in the masjid, I can guarantee you I've spent time, a lot of time in the masjid. And when you've spent time in the Atakaf, go to the Atakaf. Go and spend some time inside the masjid for about 10 nights. Go and stay inside the masjid and see how it feels that when time passes by, what the barakah is about. I've taught kids inside a masjid and I've taught kids inside a school. And I can tell you straight away that there is a barakah inside in the same hours, the same mornings, Saturday, Sunday mornings, inside the masjid there is a barakah. Inside the school, there is less of a barakah, less of a blessing. Why? Because the increasing of your actions in a place will bring a lot more barakah and blessings to that place. And you will find that your time is being used a lot better. If you are sitting inside your house and you're watching movies that you're not supposed to watch, if you're roaming around the internet on places you're not supposed to roam around, if you're looking at things on your phone you're not supposed to look at, if you're while in your house you're sinning and other family members are sinning or some are sinning, that sin will bring an effect of the barakah being lost of time in that house. And you will feel that when you come house, not only about the time, you feel a lot of things. You won't feel the, the nur, the barakah, you won't feel that you're all getting on. You'll feel they're a bit distant from one another because it's the effect of sin inside the place, inside the house. So what we need to do is when you're with Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah says, Be the layl wa nahar. In my hand is the night, in my hand is the day. When I stick to what Allah has said, when I use my time properly, Allah puts barakah in my time. The Quran, the Quran says, the Quran says, ما يعمر من معمر ولا ينقص من عمره إلا في كتاب. In the 26 juz of the Holy Quran, Allah has told us that there is not a single person who will gain a part of their life and increase in their life. Now this is in ayah number 11 of surah number 35, surah Fat Fatir. Allah says, Ma yu'ammaru min mu'ammar. No person gains an extra amount of life. Wala yunqasu min umri. No person has an amount of life cut off, decreased from their actual amount of time, except I have written it in the book. What does this mean? My teacher Mullah Fadr Rahim Sahib, he said, he said, when you do good actions, this tafsir of this ayah is, when you do good actions, Allah increases your life. Allahu Akbar. You know you're supposed to only live till 55, you end up living till 59, or 63, or 74. And when you do bad deeds, you're supposed to live till 74, but you die at, at 69, or you die at 51. Who knows what your real age was, but Allah increases life because of good actions and Allah decreases life because of good actions.